So I wanted to start this course by explaining what are niche websites, how do they work, give some examples of some of these niche websites and the benefits of owning one and creating one. So there's uh, multiple ways that people monetize their websites, one of which being affiliate links. Uh, you can have a website that reviews products and within the product reviews are affiliate links to the product you're discussing or you can write how-to content uh, within and then within that content are products that you recommend that help support uh, your how-to piece. You can also write about experiences that you've had, services you've used, and things like that and, and link to all of those. So I wanted to show a couple examples. This is a how-to article on how to clean a cast iron skillet and within the article you can see that they're promoting this brush. So this brush will make cleaning the cast iron skillet easier. Um, someone can then purchase that and uh, this company, uh, the, the kitchen.com, would, would receive a commission uh, if someone clicked on this and purchased it. Here is a review website um, that's reviewing foam workout rollers. And so they took some of the best foam rollers they could find, uh, did a short little review on each one, explained why they liked it, why they don't, and, but they have a link to Amazon. Um, they also have a link to Walmart. So they're part of the Walmart and Amazon affiliate programs where if someone click on the product and get more information and then end up purchasing it. And then lastly is this review website. Um, this one's about vacuum cleaners. They set theirs up a little bit differently. They have a comparison chart and they offer even more information about each product pros and cons to each one as well. I really like doing pros and cons and having comparison charts, but it's all in how you want to structure it. So each one of these examples generates income through affiliate links. It's just how do you want your website to work? Do you want to be a review website? Do you want to be able to be a how-to website? So that's for you to decide, but through this course, you're going to see how to set up a website, and no matter which avenue you want to take, what I show you is going to work perfectly fine. And like I said, I'm a big advocate of review websites, but if you want to take it a separate route, that's totally fine. Um, but review websites have worked really well for me in the past. Here are some screenshots that I pulled of one of my review websites. So this was January of this year. You can see that the, the amounts fluctuate, but some days I make $100, some days I make $20. This is just one website and one affiliate program through that website. That website's monetized through many different affiliate programs. This is just one. Uh, this is another website or another affiliate program that runs on that website. And you can see for the May of 2017, it, this one account did 21000 in sales or $1,300 in commission. Um, here is another affiliate program that I use. This was in April, May of this year. It earned uh, $500 or so. And then lastly, when you're a part of affiliate programs, you get commission sent to your PayPal every month. And it's a really nice surprise. Uh, sometimes you forget that it's coming. Well, in this one, in May of this year, uh, an affiliate sent me $4,000 in affiliate commissions uh, to my PayPal. So. It's really a lucrative venture to get into. There's not much downside except for you're putting up some of your time and just a little bit of money. Uh, but for less than $1,000, you can have a fully working website with content uh, that's ready to generate revenue. So there's not much money investment involved. It's more just time. So I highly encourage you to really think about what I am sharing and to have a separate window open so you can follow along. The point is that I want you to be able to follow along with this course and do exactly what I do, and by the end of it, you will have a fully working website. Just follow along, and I'm gonna make it super straightforward and easy. So let's jump into buying the domain, the hosting, setting all that up, because that is step one. I wanted to add a few reasons why I'm a big advocate of niche websites. So I, I just built this simple Excel spreadsheet that outlines a niche website versus if you were to sell online. So I try to keep the numbers very accurate because I'm all about realistic numbers. Um, so selling online, I, I think realistically, and I've seen it myself, you can do $6,000 a month in sales. That sounds great and all, $6,000 a month, but then you subtract out your cost of goods sold, your fees for transaction fees, or if you're selling on Amazon, there's fees, and then advertising. 
you know, lots of times when you're selling a product, you have to run ads. So now that $6,000 has just become $1,100 profit at the end of the month. But during that time, you have some overhead and some risk. You are sitting on $4,000 worth of product that could get ruined by flood, storm, fire, whatever it might be, or that just might not sell. Maybe the demand is just gone for your product, and now you're sitting on all this inventory that's just eating up your cash. We'll compare that to kind of a, a really simple profit and loss document for a niche website where uh, you know, a niche website, you can easily make $2,000 a month um, in income. Your hosting for the top plan is $11 a month, and say you outsource some of your content for $150 a month, your, your profitability is 18, over $1,800. There is very little overhead with running a niche website. I've looked and helped many people, I've looked at hundreds of profit and loss documents for niche websites, and there's lots of times where the only expense in their document is their hosting for $10 to $20 per month. That's it. Um, you know, content is another expense, if, you know, if you want to outsource some of it, but lots of times people just write their own content and their only expense is hosting. Compare that to selling online and you have a long list of expenses and your money's tied up. Niche websites, you don't have any money tied up. So this is just another reason why I think niche websites are so lucrative. Um, high profitability, you don't have your cash tied up, and you don't even have to spend money on ads. The whole point is to create content that organically ranks in Google and Bing and Yahoo, so it naturally gets on the first page so people can find it without you having to promote it. With products, it's a little bit harder. You have to do product promotions a lot of the time, which eats into your profits. So anyways, I just wanted to show the difference and to explain why I'm such an advocate of niche websites.